In this tutorial, we're going to animate our doors with the custom animation. First, we're going to select our door. I'm going to select this single paneled glass door right here. Then go over to the Scene Control tab, Generate Doors, and select Customize Selected Door. Now, this is going to automatically select single door for me, so that's good. And here you have this yellow axis. Now, this axis can be moved by hitting Move Axis and it will move along the door. Now this door hinges at the wall so we're going to put it right there and hit finish and next we're going to select our panel. This is going to select everything that we want to animate and as you see it shows up in green once I move the gizmo. And we want everything. We don't have anything extra on this door that we don't want to animate. We want to animate the whole thing so we'll hit finish and then we'll go ahead and preview. Now it opens in and that's the way we want it. If we wanted it to open out, we can just flip axis and preview and it will open out. But we want it to open in, so that's good. I like the way that is. I'm going to hit apply and that's going to create that custom animation. Now all I have to do is right click on the door and it opens for me. And if I right click again, it will close. Okay, so now we're going to animate a double door. And we have our glass double door here. So we just select this door. And this is a similar process to the single door, only with double. So double door is already selected. And now we can move our axes. So we have two axes here. Now this particular door hinges on this metal. And it doesn't necessarily hinge to the, to the glass panel here. So we're going to move this axis to right about the edge of the metal panels. We'll move axis 2 to the edge of the metal panel. Perfect. We'll hit finish and now we're going to select our panels. And it instinctively selects a panel and as you can see it's highlighted in green when we move the gizmo. So that's good. I don't want to make any changes to that because that's exactly what I want. So I'll hit finish and then I'll select panel 2. And it grabs the other panel for me. And this one's highlighted in red. This is to tell the difference between the two different doors. We're going to hit finish and we have our two doors and the axis is pointing out. I want the axis to point in. So I flip the axis and preview and my door animates on the pivot. I'll show you that one more time on the pivot. And I like the way that looks so I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Now I just right click and my door opens. Right click and my door closes. And that's how you animate a double door. Now I'm going to be animating a sliding door. See we have our barn door right here and it slides along this rail back and forth. Now I'm going to slide it out to the right. So I'm going to select it go back to the custom scene, generate door, customize selected door. And this is a sliding door. It shows double, but this is a sliding door. So we're going to choose slide door. And there's our axis pointing to the right, which is the direction we want to slide. Now I'm going to select move axis, and I'm going to move this to right about here where the door starts. Now this means that once the door slides, the end of the door here is going to meet up with the axis right here and it won't slide past that mark. So we'll finish that. That's where we want our door to slide to. Now we'll select the panel. Now this is selecting everything but we don't necessarily want everything. So I'm going to scale this door and I'm going to move it down so that I'm not selecting the rail that it's going to be sliding on and I'm going to shrink it down the size of the door. That's about right. And we'll finish. Now we have our door selected, our axis is set, and we can preview. And that worked perfectly. It opened just the right amount. And if I wanted it to maybe not open that much, I can move this further in and preview. And it will only move to where that axis point is. Let's go ahead and move it back over to here. And we'll preview it one more time. That's perfect. I like the way that looks. I'll hit apply. And now I have my custom animation on my sliding door.
And now we're going to animate a roll-up door, much like a garage door, or in this case, a security door. We'll just select it and navigate to our scene control, generate doors, customize selected door, and a roll-up door is selected. That's perfect. Now, this works much like the sliding door, where you can move this axis, and wherever the top or the bottom of this axis is, is where the door will roll up to. So we want to roll it up eh, right about there to leave a little bit of, of uh, this portion of the door showing. So now that I have my axis placed, I'll select finish, and now I'll select my panel. Now I know because I created this door that it goes up past uh, the ceiling here. So I'm going to scale it a little bit. And I'm going to move it down to right about there. So I want this portion to move. So I'm going to hit Finish. And now I have my selected door. And I'm going to preview. Now that's going to roll up just to that point right at the axis and roll back down. I like the way that works. So I'm going to hit Apply and I'll test it and there we have it my roll-up door